This is a special time for Justin and his family. So first of all, congratulations on behalf of Southern Springs ISD. Super job, congratulations. Him to go from you know being growing up here, uh, you know getting a plan through you know middle school, junior high, uh, high school, and then be able to see all the hard work that pays off. You know, and, and a lot of you guys get to see you know him in the classroom and stuff. You know, I, I only really got to see him you know competing against him, and then get to see him the last four to five months. Uh, you know, he he is who you guys want to strive to be. Okay, he's uh, you know what I always call it when I talk to coaches around the country about him. You know, I always told him he was the coach's dream. You know, he's the, one of the hardest workers that we have, you know, shows up all the time, he's not late, uh, you know, gets his, his stuff done in the classroom. Um, and, and that makes it a whole lot easier when, uh, you know, when coaches call us. And so I just want to say that it's a great job for you to be able to lead by example, not just on the floor, but also, you know, in the classroom, outside. So, hey, man, good luck to you. Thank you. Been coach a long time, and uh, you know I was blessed to be a part of uh, Justin's journey in life. And, uh, you know, I'm just overly uh, just, just grateful for this kid. This kid uh, is, is the perfect kid. I, I've coached a long time. I've coached a lot of really good guys, and uh, Justin's just different. And you all know that. That's why he's sitting here. Uh, man, he's the, the, the perfect kid every round, every day. Um, just did everything right. So, you know, like Coach Shaver said, he's the, the perfect role model for you young guys, you young players. So, really look up to this kid because uh, and this kid, no matter what he's going to do in life, he's going to be successful. And once again, I was just overly blessed to have that opportunity to coach him. So, overly proud of you, Justin. You're going to do great things. And I'm glad you're close enough. I can come watch you. So, let it go. All right, once again, congratulations, and it's time to do the beat now, man. Sign it up. I've been on varsity four years, all four years of my high school career, so. Wow, an incredible honor. Not a whole lot of players get to start out freshman year and then work yes, sir. all the way up to varsity. It was, it was a big honor because that team ended up being the state team. So I got to be a part of a great atmosphere and got to learn what winning was really like and being a good a part of a good culture. And what's even better about that is that you, since you are one of the few returning players from that state team, you can kind of show the rest of the young players kind of what it means to be a Sulphur Springs athlete. Yes, sir. I mean, I feel like I, guys, they follow, they have brothers, cousins on that team and I just feel like I'm another guy but they all look at me the same I don't see them any different I don't see myself above them but we all play at the same level and play at a high level at the same time and then uh, what are your parents names and can you spell them for me uh, my dad's name is Jason Hare uh, and then my mom's name is Tracy Hare congratulations to them and to you but uh, Dallas Baptist University congratulations how did that come to be uh, well they came one day when I was a sophomore Cam they came and watched Cam because he's one of their offer holders and they took notice of me and they talked to me every time. They would talk to me. They really liked how I played and I mean, it just went from there. I mean, they always stayed right there by, they were the first people to ever talk to me. And then when the offer came, I, I already kind of had in my mind, this is where I'm gonna go no matter what. So then once I went and everyone was so welcoming and it just had a great environment to it and all the guys were real friendly. It seemed like I, they wanted me there and the coaching staff again was just so friendly. They seemed like sipping them. I can talk to them about anything. That helped with the decision as well. Absolutely, and uh, so uh, what are your thoughts on uh, DBU's basketball program, and uh, how do you and your strengths fit into that more? Uh, they're a good program. They feel like here, I mean, they just play. They either play through the bigs, they can run through the guards, but it's real good team basketball, move the ball around. Uh, I mean, Cam right now, I kind of see myself as similar as to Cam, 
I'm more fundamental. I'm not a real flashy guy. So Cam does real well over there. He got to play. Almost got, as I was told, almost got freshman of the year, was nominated for it. Big honor in that dist- uh, that conference because big time conference. I went to the uh, NCAA tournament for D2. Real good team. And I feel like my talent just being able to be fundamental and hard going, never really giving up on a play. I feel like that'll fit in pretty well. And then, uh, so two years they've been kind of keeping tabs on you, but uh, when did you make the trip out to Dallas and go visit campus? Uh, I made an unofficial visit, I want to say August, right before school started. So I was out there and I got to see the campus. Now, I didn't get to practice with the team. It wasn't an official visit, so it was just a day thing. So I got to go see, meet some of the guys, hang with Cam, just see the campus. And then my official visit was September, and I got to actually like meet the guys. I got to play with them. I got to like see some of those classrooms. It was real nice. Well, that's glad to hear. And uh, what do you? And lastly, what are you thinking you're going to major in? I'm going to major in business. Business? Congratulations. Uh, anything else you'd like to add, Justin? Uh, please come and support. We've been working our butts off. I know COVID kind of put a damper on everything, but we definitely want people here, and I know y'all show out for us. Yes, sir. And uh, good luck not only in your first scrimmage tomorrow versus Greenville, but going forward. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, Coach Shaver, I know that you've only worked for Justin for about a half a year now, but what have you liked that you've seen from the senior? Well, I'm just like any other thing, that this guy is the hardest worker you're going to find. You know, he's the coach's dream. Uh, you know, when your best player is your hardest worker, you're going to have a pretty good team. That's what we have with him. Absolutely. And uh, thoughts on Harris signing at DBU with a good basketball program? Yeah, and that's what, when he came to me, we talked about it. You know, he was. Uh, it's something where, you know, it's not too close to home, not too far away, so family and all that can come. You know, he fits in, he, he's going to play, so you know, it's going to be a lot of fun for him to be, get, be able to get to that next level. Yeah, you, and you talked about uh, how it's not too far away from home, but just far enough that he's able to kind of stay out there, and not to mention that from a Dallas kid, you know, he's out there kind of south Dallas, so he right. has a wonderful opportunity to go to any which city he prefers to get away. Right, right, and that's what we talked about, you know, and that's, you know, it, it, the hard thing is, is you, as a college kid, you want to get away, you know, be away from the parents and all that, but, you you know, it, it gives him that little comfort zone for him, so it's going to be good for him for sure. And then, uh, any else? You, anything else you'd like to add about the player coach? Yeah, I mean, it, it's going to be a fun season for him. You know, this is, uh, you know, for his obviously his last year coming in and playing. Uh, you know, it, it's a little bit different than what he's used to, but you know, he's enjoying being able. It's, it's opening up, uh, you know, his offensive game, which is where and what he's going to be playing in next year. So it, it'll, it'll be fun for him, and I can't wait to coach him throughout the season. And then uh, season gets underway actually tomorrow when you all t- take the short trip out to Greenville. Right. Yes, sir. So we scrimmage them tomorrow night, uh, and then we tip off uh, Saturday morning or Saturday mid afternoon, I guess, against Tyler Legacy. So, uh, and we start out like I said, we got we got a lot of six A uh, schools that are playing. So uh, it, it's going to be a tough you know a tough bracket before we get to pre district, and uh, so that way we can be prepared be prepared as we go in the district. And you're absolutely right when you talk about that because something that Coach Sip also did last year was uh, schedule a lot of really tough opponents, so it sure. sort of really prepares them for district and yeah. beyond. And, and that's, we have a very tough district, you know, and that, that's that's the good thing about it, you know. So we have to be battle tested, you know. We have to be prepared, uh, you know. We play the number three team in six A, so you know we're we're for sure going to be tested. <laughs> so you know, it's one of those that uh, you know, as we get into these Dallas tournaments and everything that goes on, it's going to be it's going to be good for us, uh, you know, something that we don't normally play, some of the teams we don't play from all over, so. Uh, We'll be able to know where we're at in the state of Texas uh, early on for sure. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. The family and Justin would like for you to sign that uh, just to show you were here today and we're part of his special day with him. So then over here by the balloons and there's also refreshments over the side. You want those?